They look a little better. I didn't I didn't do all the bottom boards and everything. I figured I'm gonna have to do something, I'm gonna have to be dividing. Pretty soon anyway, they're so, all them are so strong. So I had to divide like I took that I divided that one in half because both boxes were just solid brood. I figured um one will make a new queen for itself and the other will have its old queen. I'll buy a bunch of queens. Divide all these and find the strongest ones and just divide them. Take like four frames or something and make another little hive. And well, let's just watch for the amount of boxes I have to be able to do it with. Really, really kind of good though because when you're at this yard, uh, they're flying still though. I'm pretty good. You can see them in the sky from time to time. Starting around with the wind and stuff. Trying to get another name. Really super the swarm came on it, but that box with the two supers, that's the swarm. Got to put it in there. At least they great caught it. That's the main thing. So I'm going to try doing a single story one this year, see if I can get some honey off of it. Well, not, not really that, that I want to, but <laughs> mainly because I don't have any boxes right now. I need to buy some more. on some of them, so they don't decide to swarm on me. This is the only yard I haven't had a swarm at. Uh, keep it that way. Keep have one here, too. I think I'm done putting supers on. A lot of the supers are already got a lot of already have a lot of honey in them. All they need to be a seal. This one has these are all splits. Got some three frame nukes and stuff that I've written put my queens in. That's uh that one with the red and white box with the can of or um, jar of sugar syrup on top is the one I raised the queens in. They're all flying real good. Well, it's a beautiful day, even with the wind is what's helping. If the wind wasn't blowing, it would really be hot. Well, I better get to work. <laughs> 